Today, we're gonna to be looking at three ways for you to spy on your competitor ads. But before we get to the spying, let me ask you this. What is it that you are looking for exactly when you are looking at your competitor ads? This is super important to predetermine before you start your market research because if you don't know what you're looking for, then you won't know when you've come across it, obviously. So whenever we do market research, the two things that we look out for is number one, the hook of the ad, and number two, the actual concept of the ad. The hook of your ad is without a doubt the most important part of your creative. Whenever you spent a dollar on Facebook advertising, about 70 to 80 cents of that dollar will go towards the hook. That's because most people will never get past those first three to five seconds. And that's just the nature of how Facebook works. So given that, you really want to make sure that you pinpoint a lot of really great creative and attention grabbing hooks from your competitors. The second thing is the concept. And this is a combination of two things. The actual visual concept of how this ad is put together, whether they're using professionally produced content, user generated content, or a mix of both, and the buyer motivation. So what problems are they stressing with these creatives? The first method, which is free, is good old fashioned Facebook ad library. This is a great starting point, especially if you already know who your competitors are. The key here is to look for ads at the bottom of the ad library. You want to look for creatives that have been running for at least a month, ideally two months, because that is a good indicator they're performing well. Otherwise, your competitor would have switched off those ads. Bear in mind, this isn't a set rule. It could be a hit or miss, but it's definitely a good indicator. We can see that this ad here has been running since the 4th of October. Today is the 5th of November, so the ad has been running for just a little over a month now. That's a good indicator that the ad could be performing well. Visual concept here is that it's a professionally produced ad, probably shot in a studio. They're doing an unboxing video. And when we look at the buyer motivation, the main one here being that you want your groin to be nice and smooth and you can see everything that you shave. But I think we can find an ad that has a stronger buyer motivation than this. So let's keep looking. Guys, if you're still using one of these to trim your body, it's time to level up with Manscaped's Lawnmower 4.0. The Lawnmower 4.0 uses skin safe ceramic blades. The buyer motivation in this ad is a whole lot clearer. The problem that they're stressing is shaving with traditional shavers and the pain that comes associated with that, nicks, razor burns, etc. And they're showing how this product helps to solve that problem. So that's a much stronger buyer motivation than the previous ad, which was just more of an unboxing and a demonstrational ad. Next is a paid method called Meet Adbox. It is paid, but it is relatively cheap. And if you use the link below, you can actually get 50% off of your annual subscription. Now, the thing that I love about Adbox and the primary reason why we use it is that it lets you to discover new brands that you don't know about. So if you don't know who your competitor is, this is a great starting point. Once you load it up, you can filter the ads based on the industry as well as the type of ad. Let's say we're looking for something in the beauty and cosmetics niche, and then the type of ad that we want is, let's say, a lifestyle ad. Once you discover a brand that you like, let's say Glossier, you just copy their name, you go into ad library, and then you look up more of their ads to see exactly what are they up to and what sort of ads are they running. And the last and final method is called Big Spy. Now guys, this really is the mother load. It comes with a bunch of different features and gives you a lot of information about your competitors. Having said that, it does come with a hefty price tag of $99 per month. We use it day in and day out here at Still Social, and let me show you exactly why. So once you log on to AdSpy, you can look into competitors based on their name. Let's use Manscaped because they're a good example. They run a lot of different ads. So you can filter by platform, where are they advertising on? Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. You can filter by the region. Then there's some advanced features here like language, engagement, etc., and even by date. So this is the one that I would use most frequently. I put in the date. So let's say the ads that have been running in the last 90 days. And then what you do is you filter by impressions. This is a great way to filter through ads because ads with a lot of impressions obviously have a big budget behind them. So you can see this ad right here, let's say in the last 100, 26 days, it got 3.5 million impressions. So you know that Manscape is putting a budget behind that. The other thing that I really like about AdSpy is that you can actually download the creatives. Now, if you've been using Facebook ad library for the last year or so, then you've noticed that at the beginning of 2022, they've actually switched off the ability for you to download your Facebook ads. And Big Spy still allows you to do that. If you like this video, then be sure to check out this video right here where we break down how to create a scroll stopping hook for your Facebook ad. Take care everybody and we'll see you in the next one.